I'm always on the hunt for useful websites that can help you to increase your productivity, teach you a new skill, or give you the resources you need to improve your online life. Coming up, I will show you 10 amazing websites in various categories. Hopefully you find at least one or two of these to be useful for you. Let's get started. Typing.com is a fantastic resource that will help you to improve your typing skills, especially for those of you that are still using the hunt and peck method. The interactive lessons will teach you the basics of typing along with more advanced facets, including getting help with problem keys, speed drills, and techniques to reduce the strain that causes carpal tunnel syndrome. Typing.com is completely free for all ages. Just follow the steps in each lesson. You will need to sign up and log in to save your progress. Up next is Atlas Obscura. When visiting a new town or city, this website is a must-have travel resource that will help you to find amazing places that you won't typically find in a guidebook. It's easy to use. Click in the search box. You will have the option to find places near your current location, or you could enter the location you're planning to visit in the search box. According to this, it has found 73 places here in and around New Orleans. Click on it. Here, it will show you the guide for the city you selected. If you scroll down the page, it will show you the list of unusual attractions. Clicking on any of them will bring up photos along with a detailed description of that attraction. If you're an absolute beginner, interneting is hard, may have a silly name, but it's a great place to learn web development. It's 100% free with no hidden paywalls. Their HTML and CSS tutorials are in plain spoken text, making it easy for folks to easily follow along and includes more than 250 diagrams and code examples. Here at the top, select Start Here to begin. Be sure to read the introduction thoroughly. It will give you background information, expectations, and will let you know the free tools that you will need to complete the course. If you haven't used it yet, Firefox Send lets you share your files with a link that will automatically expire. The files are encrypted up to one gigabyte. If you sign in, that limit goes up to two and a half gigabytes, which is not too bad considering Gmail has a limit of only 25 megabytes. You have the choice to drag and drop your files into the window or select files to upload to browse your computer. You can select the plus to select additional files just as long as the total size does not exceed the limit. The default when your link expires is one download or one day. The download limit can be changed to up to 100 downloads, and the day limit is seven days. You also have the choice to protect your files with a password. When you're ready, click on Upload. When it's done uploading, just copy the link and share it with whomever you want. If you've ever wanted to learn a new language, Duolingo can help with a series of activities and games. They now offer more than 30 languages for you to choose from, including Spanish, Korean, Portuguese, Swedish, Polish, and for the Star Trek fans out there, you can now learn Klingon. To begin, select the language you would like to learn. I'll go with Klingon. Choose a daily goal. 10 minutes per day seems like a decent amount. Hit continue. It will then ask if you're new or already know some of the language. In this case, I'll choose new to Klingon. From here on out, just follow the instructions. On the MyFonts website, they have a tool called What the Font that will help you to figure out the best match for the fonts being used in your picture. It's easy to use. Just drag and drop a photo from your computer into the window. It will then automatically select text from your image, or you can left click on any word in the photo to select it. Then click on the blue button. It will now show you several fonts that closely match the word you selected in your photo. Up next is Scribd, which is an ebook and audiobook service with more than 1 million titles. They're often referred to as the Netflix for books. The service offers unlimited reading each month from more than 1,000 publishers, including Bloomsbury, Macmillan, and Simon & Schuster, to name a few. 
you will find that many of the top authors are available. For example, if you're a fan of Stephen King, you'll find a vast collection of his works on Scribd. They give you a 30-day free trial to try out the service. When the trial ends, the cost is just $8.99 per month. In addition to their website and support for Kindle devices, they also have apps available in the Apple and Google Play stores. This will be a quick one. TechMeme is one of the top sites I use when I want to find out the latest news in technology. None of the news stories are about politics, sports, pop culture, or anything else. They make it easier to get the top stories from the world of technology using various sources all on one page, which is all I want from a news site. Let's move on. Creative Market is an online store featuring design assets generated from their community. Here you can get new themes for your site, logo designs, cool looking fonts, and a whole lot more. But the primary reason I'm showing you this website is that each week, beginning every Monday, they give away six free things, which is reason enough to bookmark this site. Rainy Mood is a rain simulator that can help you to focus and boost productivity with the sounds of a summer rainstorm. It's been around for many years, and unlike some of the other noise generators I've shown you in the past, it lacks the toggles and switches to customize it, which might be great for those of you that don't like having too many options. All you have to do is hit the play button to begin. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments which amazing websites you use that could possibly benefit others. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell for more useful websites and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.